Hello everyone, welcome to Bright's Engineering. Today we are solving a question under solid state electronics. The question says, consider a contact between tungsten with work function 5m equal to 4.55 volts and n type silicon doped to nd equal to 10 exponent 16 per cm cube at 300k temperature. Given x, which is the electron affinity equal to 4.01 and NC of SI, which is the effective density of states at the conduction band, equal to 2.8 times 10 exponent 19 cm cube. Calculate I, the barrier height, II, the junction potential, III, the type of contact formed, IV, diffusion width, and V, maximum junction electric field, taking G, EG, which is the energy gap, to be equal to 1.12 electron volts. So, let's go to the solution All right starting with i we are to, supposed to find the barrier height All right now barrier height which is phi b in this case is equal to phi m minus x and phi m is the work function of the metal right which is over here 4.55 and x is the electron affinity of silicon, which is 4.01. So let's substitute those values into the equation. So now we have 5b equal to 4.55 minus 4.01. And that gives us um, 0 0.54 volts. 0 0.54. So that's the value for the barrier height now i i asks us to find the junction potential right so i i junction potential which is vbi is equal to phi b minus phi n where phi b is the barrier height we found earlier and phi n is the Fermi potential. In some cases, it could be represented with q v n. So in this case, we are using phi n. So now that, now we need to find phi n since we are not given the question. So going on to find phi n, the Fermi potential is equal to k t len n c on n d. So K T is um, K is the Boltzmann constant. T is the temperature which we are giving it with 300 K. Then ln of um, N C which is the effective density of T at the conduction band. Then N D which is the doping concentration for N type. Right. So let's go on to substitute in the values. So phi N now be equal to 0 0.026 ln 2.8 times 10 minus 19 all on. 10 exponent 16 right now when we punch that we'll get phi n to be equal to 0 0.2064 volts good now let's um let's move on so now we can go on to find the vbi we asked to find so now vbi it's equal to um phi b which is the barrier height 0 0.54 minus the Fermi potential that we found which is 0 0.206 so let's take 206 um, 2064 yes and so VBI is equal to 0 0.3336 volts so that's the junction potential then um, next we are supposed to find we are supposed to determine the type of contact point right now there are some technicalities here so let's let's go so for that there's some kind of trend right so when you have the fermi level greater than the the fermi level of the metal greater than the fermi level of the semiconductor and the material is n type then we'll have the contact form to be a uh, scorsky rectifying you know contact right then when it is p type with the same condition then it is omic then when you have the 
um, Fermi level of the metal to be less than the Fermi level of the semiconductor and it's n-type then you have it also to be ohmic but when it's p-type with the same condition you have it to be rectifying right so in this case for us to be able to determine whether which or, or to for us to be able to determine the contrast when we need to find the um fermi level of sorry uh, the work function of the semiconductor which we are not given so let's go ahead to find the fermi level of the semiconductor so let's start i i i here and we have phi s which is the fermi level of the semiconductor being equal to x which is the electron affinity of silicon plus eg over 2 which is now um, half of the uh, energy gap minus qvn i talked about qvn earlier the same as um yeah so this is the also the firm potential being represented by a different symbol right so now let's expand qvn so qvn is now equal to ef minus ei and further expansion qvn is now equal to kt lin nd over ni where nd is the doping concentration for n type and ni is the intrinsic uh, concentration right so qvn is equal to substituting in the value so you have 0 0.026 lin we're giving nd to be 10 exponent 16 all over 1.5 times 10 exponent 10 which is the constant value for ni and then when we point this we'll have our qvn which is one potential to be equal to 0 0.348 volts no electron volts yes then we'll have um the now let's go on to find our phi s so phi s is equal to substituting in the values directly we have 4.01 plus 1.12 on 2 minus 0 0.348 right and this will give us 4.221 as our phi s right now let's do the comparison so earlier in the question we were given phi m to be equal to 4.55 now if we compare with the phi s that we had which is um 4.221 which is the same as the phi s yes you can see that the phi m which is the work function of the metal is greater than phi s which is the work function of the semiconductor so now we have this condition and as i explained earlier when the material is n type and the femi um, and the work function of the metal is greater than the work function of the semiconductor we will have um, a contact which is um, yeah so when um, it's an n type material and the work function of the metal is greater than the work function of the semiconductor the this type of contact is a rectifying one so rectifying contact or uh, some could say a Scotsky rectifying contact is a, it's similar right now for our next sub question we are to find the depletion width right so let's find depletion width IV depletion with w has the formula root of 2 times epsilon s v b i all over q times n d and um, this will be expanded to root of um, 2 epsilon not epsilon r v b i all over q and d where epsilon naught is um where epsilon naught is the dielectric constant and this is the permittivity so we have 
um, two times epsilon not epsilon r v b i over q and d. And take the root of the total, right? So let's let's move on and substitute in the values. So we we'll have um, w equal to two times eleven point eight, which is epsilon not times two point eight times um ten exponent um, minus fourteen times and the value we had for um vbi was zero point three 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 six so times zero point three 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 six then this is um you have this all over the value of q which is the uh, electron charge which is 1.602 times 10 exponents minus 19 times nd the value of nd was um the value of nd was given as 10 exponent 16 so 10 exponent 16 then we take the roots of all of this pardon me this constant which is the epsilon r should have been 8.85 times 10 exponent minus 14 sorry for that error so when we punch this we have w is equal to or uh, the width will be equal to 2.085 times 10 exponent minus 5 and this is an um, cm so we have the unit so cm now we have to then the next one we are to find the maximum junction electric field so v e max which is the maximum junction electric field will be equal to absolute value of q n d x n over e s s now q is the electron charge and then n d is the double concentration for n type and x n is the depletion width on the end side right i i uh, so w as we calculated before it's um by conversion equal to xn plus xp where xn is the depletion on the end side and xp is that on the p side right so you add both to get a total which is w so in this case to find e max we just take one of one on the end side so this formula could also be written as absolute value of q then over here we take n a which will be the doping concentrate so which will be absolute value of um, q n a then this time we are taking it on the p side so it will be xp all over um epsilon s right so depending on the value that you have or the parameters that you are given then use the appropriate equation now let's continue since we have we are having n d and x n right so now in this case we were told earlier that um x n is um or the material is n type meaning uh, the x p which is the depletion on the p side is almost negligible right so we can approximate x n to be equal to the w which is the depletion width right so substituting that into our equation we'll have 1.602 times 10 exponents minus 19 times 10 exponents 16 which is the value of nd times 2.085 times 10 exponents minus 5 all over <coughs> Epsilon S is expanded to Epsilon not Epsilon R, so it should be 11.8 times 8.85 times 10 is from minus 14. Yes, so we take absolute value of this. Then this will be equal to 3.2 times 10 is going to 4 volts per centimeter so our um, maximum junction electric field our maximum junction electric field is equal to 3.2 times 7 exponents 4 volts per centimeter
yes so thank you very much if this video have been has been helpful to you don't come don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you very much see you another time